Hey y'all, welcome to Child's Cuisines. Today we're making some juicy and delicious Hennessy salmon. It's so amazing, I love it. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, let's get right into this video. So first we're gonna start off with some clean, beautiful salmon fillets, or how do they say it, salmon fillets. <laughs> I'm just gonna start by brushing some olive oil on the top. Once I start cooking it um, and I flip this other side, that's when I'll add the olive oil and the seasoning. Okay, so we're gonna add some sea salt and pepper. I'm also gonna season with some garlic powder and also some onion powder. And of course, as usual, I will have all the ingredients listed down below in the description box. So I'm marinating my salmon in the refrigerator for about seven to eight minutes. We're gonna work on this amazing sauce. I'm gonna start with a bowl. I'm just gonna add in some brown sugar and then a couple chili flakes um, to give it a little heat, a little bit of garlic powder for more savory flavor. And then I'm just gonna go in, I believe, with some Louisiana hot sauce. And you can add more to your liking or you can just add less if you don't like it as spicy. And it's not really that spicy. I mean, you can taste it as you go. That's what I do to see what I need. Um, and then I'm going to add some sesame oil as well. Now we're just mixing some cold water with cornstarch. This, is, this will help thicken up your sauce really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that cornstarch slurry to my mix. Now we're gonna go ahead and whisk that all together. Now add in your soy sauce. And I love the soy sauce because it, it balances out the flavor and it also uh, gives it a pretty color. Now my favorite part, let's add in some Hennessy. You only need one shot bottle, trust me. Hennessy has a strong flavor, but it's not so strong where it's like, it's, it's not tasty, you know. It's very good. It's so good. Like I said, taste as you go. Once you heat up the sauce, it will taste even better. Now in a preheated saucepan, about on medium heat, I'm going ahead and uh, I added my sauce. We're going to heat this up. Now I heat it up for about three minutes. Uh, you want to bring it to a slight boil and we're just going to keep whisking it so it's mixing in all together and cooking evenly. And the reason why you want to cook it for about two to three minutes is because you want it to thicken up. The longer you heat it and let it boil, the more it will thicken up. Now in a preheated cast iron pan, I recommend a cast iron. I got this one from, I believe, Walmart for about nine bucks, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my salmon out the fridge uh, for one minute, and then I'm going to lay it on this side first because I want that beautiful sear. And as that side is cooking for about four minutes, four to five minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more olive oil on those sides and season it up with the same seasonings. My mouth is watering just looking at this, y'all. <laughs> and you only need a little bit of seasoning really for uh, the salmon or salmon because that sauce that we made has all the flavor you really need. And this will be so perfect for like a date night or just really any night you want something a little fancy and still quick and easy to make, then I definitely suggest this recipe. Now I put a top on just to help it cook because I think my 
I'm using this um, little aisle and it's cooking unevenly a little bit but it's okay as I put the top on it it's gonna cook now I'm adding some butter and some chopped parsley for garnish and I'm gonna put that top back over and let it melt in and we're gonna leave that on for an additional about three minutes until everything is fully cooked so make sure you're checking your salmon now once it's fully cooked to my liking I'm gonna cut my stove on a low heat and I'm adding in that cooked Hennessy glaze this is gonna create a beautiful glaze to your salmon it's so simple and easy I love it and be sure to watch my other recipes if you love salmon pasta seafoods Cajun foods if you decide to recreate this dish, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chaz's Cuisine.